Welcome everyone to the London Saxophone School YouTube channel. My name is Martino and today I have a very special guest. His name is Francesco and he's one of our Hi, best everyone. students in, uh, at the Saxophone School. Oh. I thought of, of doing a little thing today with him and just uh, find out more about his story, his background, his, um, his practice routines and see what uh, we can do to inspire you guys to practice more and to find more motivation. So Francesco, welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for being here. I'm Francesco, I'm Italian. I've been in London for the past eight years, studying saxophone for the past three years, more or less, at the Longdo Saxophone School with Martini. I started to play the flute when I was eight years old and joined the uh, music secondary school in preparation for the conser con Conservatory of Milan uh, at the age of like of 10. Um, up to the age of 18 where I decided to stop playing music and start traveling Europe, uh, learning languages, do different types of experiences. The, the good thing about Francesco is that he's really interested about about many, many things, uh, yeah. musically speaking, and I guess also in life. Um, and that makes him curious um, to, you know, to learn and to, to know more about things. So, uh, yeah, he's he's the baritone player of the ensemble. He he will play as a soloist uh, with the ensemble in, in, in June for a concert in June. Mm -hmm. He He's had a few gigs, weddings and, and stuff like that. And um, and the reason why he's able to do that is not only because the lessons that we're giving him and I'm, I'm, I'm teaching him, uh, that's just part of it. The, the most important thing is the way he is and the way he commits to music and to and to the instrument. And that's mm. and that's how you do it. And, you know, that's how you progress. If you want to see yeah. progression in at whatever, whatever level you are, uh, whether you're a professional, advanced, amateur, uh, complete beginner, it doesn't matter. Um, you wanna, you still wanna put some effort into it because then, if you harvest the interest and 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 the time, then you're gonna see results um, in the future. So he's he's been playing for two and a half, three years, and he's he's been putting a lot of time, three four hours a day for at least the past year, and and that's why he's progressed so much. I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> Francesco, tell us a little bit more about your practice routine. How do you structure that? Because um, I know everyone has different opinions and, and different um, ideas. Mm -hmm. So do you structure it for the day, for the week, maybe for the month? How is it? So the minimum I practice per day is one hour. And that, that's my structure. Literally, I divide my hour on everything I have to do, depending if I have to prepare something for my lesson, for a gig, for an assemble rehearsal. Um, so, for example, if you take your hour, maybe the first 10 minutes you can work on sound, then you can work the next 20 minutes, 15 minutes on uh, scales, um, and then work on, on your um, stu studies so for your pieces. lessons, and then maybe the last 10 minutes just have fun, improvise on music, or just play some pieces for, nice. for a gig or something. <laughs> A lot of people ask, what's the magic formula? What's your practice routine? Um, I don't think there's a magic formula. It's just mm. because it's music, it's not linear. Music is, is basically, I call it the spaghetti process. You know, it's like, like that. Because it's, uh, say you have a, a, a really rigid uh, structure for, f for the week. You know, you know, like Monday I'm gonna do that, Tuesday I'm gonna do that, Wednesday I'm gonna do that, and so on, okay? And, but on Monday you do scales in a piece and it happens that on Monday your E flat major is weak but you don't touch it again until until Friday because you're not supposed to do scales until Friday according to your schedule. That, that wouldn't work. So the way I, I like to see it, I, I like to see it as a circle. What I like to do is I like to have to set myself um, no more than four, maybe five topics within three months. So I know that in three months, I'm going to work only on those things. Okay, whatever it is, impro improv, chord progression, uh, licks, uh, scales, pieces, technical bits, it doesn't matter, whatever you need to do. 
three months. Then I have my little notebook here, which is small enough to fit in my case. And this is where I put everything um, after every um, practice session. And I think it actually fits in here on yeah. the saxophone. So, you know, Ready pretty to go. small. So you have it with you all the time. So what I do here, I write down what I do every time. And then I, I, don't, I don't look back at it. I just don't, I don't care what I did back in August. I just look back at yesterday, two days, maybe three days, just to check the metronome markings. Um, uh, something that I discovered to be really useful is to uh, write down my feeling about the practice. Uh, maybe if I'm it's here, it says, oh, I was hungry and didn't practice well enough. Here it says, uh, feeling very tired and sleepy. Good control though. So, you know, different feelings that actually help you uh, achieve a better understanding of what you're doing in the moment. So keep it in mind. <laughs> Now tell us, what are your top three weaknesses in music and saxophone? Mm -hmm. um, definitely rhythm, something I, want, I would like to improve when playing with other people. Practicing more on improvising um, and uh, rhythm in different clefs. And what about your top three strengths? Maybe my personality really influenced my of three strength which could be the passion and determination I put in music sound and interpretation cool Francesco to finish off tell us what are your plans for the future for in, in saxophone and in music uh, so I definitely want to get my BA saxophone degree at the like Royal College so that's one of the the main goal. The main goal. So I will keep like studying very hard uh, to achieve that. Um, and then as I'm studying in one of the London University BA translation in different languages, mm -hmm. I would love in the future to connect those two passions I have um, and find the best profession in the future, maybe connecting, you know, music and languages, teaching in different languages or who knows? Nice. You know, I think the cool thing about music is you don't only learn how to play an instrument and to express yourself through mm -hmm. the instrument, but also you, you, music teaches you a lot about yourself. At least it has done it for me. Um, and because we, we are so creative and we try to cr come up with different ideas all the time. And so you, maybe you're going to invent your job. Yeah. Later on, you know, combining mm -hmm. saxophone and languages is one thing now, which might be just will we'll branch out into something else that you we never know. We mm -hmm. we still don't know because it's you know it's just yeah. to be created later on. this little interview serves you as a source of inspiration and motivation to keep progressing and to keep that passion for saxophone and passion for music alive. Francesco, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for inviting me. It was a pleasure having you here. It is an honor to be one of your students in particular and one of the London saxophone students. So thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, come and check us out if you need further help. Uh, we do lessons, ensembles, 
courses, workshops in London, UK. We are located in Notting Hill and Oxford Circus. We're always here. Just comment here below in the in the video if you need more help. Subscribe to the channel, to the London Saxophone School YouTube channel. Click on the bottom here, here. Maybe here? here. Or I think here? it's here. I think it's know. here. See there? <laughs> ring, <laughs> ring the bell uh, to get notifications about new videos coming up. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll see you soon. See you soon. Nice playing. Hope you like it too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks Pra routine. Practice routine. Okay, like a quick um, su summer. Uh, come see each other. Sum up. <laughs>